Charlie. I'm in love with a sick body. Big body. I'm in love with a thick body. She's working, yeah, she working. Pull around with a thick body. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. What's up? What's popping? What's, what I do? What are you guys doing? Like, I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. I'm very, very sorry. I've been busy with school and exams and stuff. And a whole lot of stuff, basically. But yeah, I'm back. And I have new stuff for you guys to enjoy. And yeah. Basically. <laughs> so you guys should just tune into my channel. I post, I am going to be posting every week or twice a week. Probably, probably Mondays. Tuesdays, Monday, Tuesdays, or Thursday and Friday. So yeah, just stay tuned to my channel, and I'm going to give you a lot of feed on makeup, lifestyle talks, and everything else. Vlogs sometimes. So yeah, if you want to see more of that, stay tuned. And before I start this video, before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Like I'm seeing all of you all. I'll just come look watch my videos and not subscribe god will judge you god will judge you so make sure you sub subscribe be sure let me give you let me i'll be subscribed please subscribe subscribe right now subscribe right now okay okay let's get into it okay i've already primed my face and done my brows off camera so i'm just going in with my foundation I've forgotten the name of this foundation, but it's in the shade Chestnut. Okay, the name of the foundation is Kashana Beauty, and it's in the shade Chestnut. So I'm just blending. Part I want to stand out on my face. The upper part of my cheek, my nose, my forehead, and my jaw.
much. I really don't like how my makeup comes out like that. Although I can't do that. If you want to do that, you first put a thin layer. That's if it cracks too much. Let's put a thin layer of the setting powder before applying your um huge layer of setting powder on top of that so it, like it doesn't crease or anything but i basically just oh my saying basically too much i just do my setting powder like that's like just a layer unless maybe i'm feeling like doing something else then for my eyeshadow look today we're going crazy with a little bit of colors i'm starting with this dark blue shade i'm applying that with my blending brush from bobby brown on my crease I do that to the other side then I get an orange shade to blend the blue shade the outer part of the blue shade which is what I'm doing here after doing that I cut my crease I don't know where the footage of me cutting this first crease went to. I don't know, Sha, but I, anyways, I cut my crease to my, with my angle brush using my fair gold concealer. after cutting my crease for my crease shades today i'm using this really pigmented eyeshadows i'm starting with the orange shade i'm putting the orange shades in my inner corners then lining then putting it along the line of the cut crease and i will do the same for the other side After applying the orange shade, I'm going in with a purple shade, then blending them in together. I'm using the purple shade to fill in the spaces left in my cut crease. After doing that, I blend, I go in my busy blend, <laughs> my blending brush, my Bobbi Brown blending brush to blend the two colors in. After blending in, I dust off the excess shadow that is on my face that's falling off from the pigment then i line my my lid my eyeliner the crazy thing about this look is that i did not have any lashes i forgot i did not get any lashes i've used i used up the last set that i had so i had to do this look with our lashes but i'm really happy that it came out well but lashes are a game changer like i always 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 love using lashes in all my looks but then i didn't have lashes for this look but it was still it came out bomb so 
but if I could if I could have gotten lashes I would have so anyway just winding my eyes then if you do not get your eyeliner um, if you don't get your eyeliner shape that you want another tip is to use your concealer brush and your concealer a little bit of concealer to um shape your eyeliner at the tip to this to make it straight and to get the shape particular shape that you want then blend it when you're done and your liner comes good as new comes out as good as new So I'm just blending everything in powder, dusting of the excess pigment. And now I'm lining my lip with a, when I say wine, yes, a wine lipstick. Then going in, I mix like a nude shade with a pink shade for the ombre. And I really like how this look came out. So I'm just Contouring my face with some powder, some darker shade of powder, then applying my bronzer to finish up the look. And voila, that's it basically. You know, if you try this look, comment down below if you learned anything or if you've done something here in my routine that I have done in this routine. Comment down below, tell me, talk to me. Or if you have any questions at all, comment down below. I'll be really, really happy to answer your comments. So I'm just applying some finishing touches of bronzer or highlights. And that's basically it guys. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel, please guys. Don't just go without subscribing. Click the subscribe button. And